what are the the new and emerging markets for specialty gases so perhaps you could give us your take on that yeah i mean you know it's interesting that um some of the some of the new um i, I would say the some of the newer uh, applications and newer markets are really just uh, some of the older products being uh finding finding new applications so um certainly for specialty gases it's 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 the same kind of the same markets that we've seen uh we talked a lot about about electronics so i'll just stick with that for a moment but you know you're seeing you're seeing materials that were once old become new again uh, we're seeing for example so2 uh applications we've seen r and d um uh, facilities uh using so2 uh in their in their um in their production in their r and d um um uh, work, which is something you, you would have never even thought of years ago, but um, but now uh, high purity SO2 is actually beginning to have a uh, a real demand in, in the marketplace. So, you know, the, these we're going to see really. Uh, I think it's going to be uh, a lot of the the growth and the emergence will be in niche markets within the markets we're already currently serving, and and, and as 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 technology changes. Uh, and develops uh, geometries of these products, uh, chips and things get smaller, demand gets, the demand uh, for, for new materials grows. Um, we're going to see, uh, you know, the emergence of, of some of the materials that aren't traditionally sold into the space uh, become more and more in demand. And I think you'll see that really throughout the whole industry. Sure, that's great. Thanks, Matt. And, and Kevin, I'll extend that question to you from the kind of equipment uh, perspective. Uh, you know, where do you see the new and emerging markets? Um, really, like Matt said, in, in niche markets within already existing industries, um, as the, the aerospace industry grows to, to more of a privatized business, uh, we've been seeing a, a lot more demand for, for product going to there, um, everything from, from gas mixtures to uh, something I would never have considered as, as even close to a specialty gas, but uh, using carbon dioxide as a superfluid for energy transfer at, at nuclear facilities or for high-end aerospace machining applications. So it, it seems like industries that historically have used a lot of product that would be considered specialty gas are diversifying with changes in technology um, and, and new and emerging technologies as far as energy generation, energy storage, um, and things like that. So a, a lot of new and exciting things going on within already existing parts of, of our world. 